In this lecture, let us understand compound gates. The compound gates are formed by combining series and parallel transistor structures to implement any Boolean function in a CMOS logic. So here, a complex Boolean function will be given. So this complex Boolean function will be implemented using CMOS logic. If we say CMOS logic, it consists of NMOS and PMOS. These NMOS and PMOS will be connected in series as well as parallel so that this Boolean function can be implemented in CMOS logic. So the implementation of Boolean function in CMOS logic are known as compound gates. So here we need to follow some steps to implement the Boolean function in CMOS logic. When we are implementing the function using NMOS, if there is AND function or AND operation in Boolean function, we need to connect NMOS in a series. And if we are having R operation in Boolean function, we need to connect NMOS in parallel. And when we are implementing the Boolean function using PMOS, here PMOS will perform NOT operation. Since PMOS is performing NOT operation, it has to perform the opposite function of NMOS. That's why when we are implementing the Boolean function using PMOS, when there is AND operation, we need to connect the PMOS in parallel. And for our operation in Boolean function, we need to implement using series. So for AND operation, NMOS should be connected in series. And for our operation, NMOS should be connected in parallel. To implement using PMOS, for AND function, PMOS should be connected in parallel. And for our operation, PMOS should be connected in series. Once we implement using NMOS and PMOS, we need to connect these two NMOS and PMOS and output should be connected. So here NMOS network is known as pull down network, which is PDN and PMOS network is known as pull up network, which is PUN. So for a given Boolean function, we need to design a pull up network. Then we need to design a pull down network and we need to connect these two network to form a CMOS logic. So remember these steps. So for any given Boolean function, you can use these steps to form a compound gate. Now let us take an example to understand the compound gates. So here we need to implement the Boolean function using CMOS logic. So in this function, there is an AND operation between A and B and there is an AND operation between C and D and between these two operations, we are having R operation. For this, there is a NOT function. So NOT function can be implemented using PMOS and the operation by the Boolean function can be implemented using NMOS. Now let us understand how we can implement using NMOS. Since there is A and B, we can implement this in a series. Let us take this as series 1 S1 and we are having C and D. Again, this can be implemented in series. So we need to connect NMOS in series. Let us take this as series 2 S2. This is S1. This is S2. Between S1 and S2, there is R operation that should be implemented using parallel combination of NMOS. Then S1 or S2 it should be connected in parallel. So we can take NMOS and we can connect A and B that are connected in series. Then we can take C and D to NMOS that are connected in series. We got series 1, S1 and we got series 2 which is S2. Between these S1 and S2 there is R operation. That's why we need to connect these two in parallel and NMOS is connected to ground. So what we have done, we have implemented S1, we have implemented S2. S1 and S2 are connected in parallel and these two are in turn connected to ground. So this is the NMOS implementation of the given Boolean function. So to implement using PMOS, the function A and B should be implemented in parallel. Let us take this as parallel 1, 
the function c and d should be implemented in parallel let us take this as parallel 2 then we need to implement p1 or p2 using series combination of pmos so this is the implementation of a and b connected in parallel so this is the implementation of c and d in parallel so we got parallel 1 and parallel 2 p1 and p2 should be connected in series so a b connected in parallel c d connected in parallel then these two are connected in series so this is the implementation of pmos where this circuit is connected to the vdd so we got nmos circuit and we got pmos circuit so these two should be connected in series so that we can get the complete cmos implementation so this is the cmos logic implementation so nmos and pmos are connected together and it is connected to the output to implement cmos logic let us take second example where we need to implement the function using cmos logic so first let us implement using nmos so here a r b r c can be implemented using parallel connection of nmos let us take this as parallel one this r function is having and operation with d that's why p1 and d can be implemented using series combination of nmos to implement using pmos a or b or c can be implemented in series let us take this as series one then s1 and d can be implemented using parallel combination of pmos so this is the cmos logic implementation of the given function this is the implementation using nmos this is the implementation using pmos these two are then connected to the output to get the cmos logic so here to implement a or b or c we are connecting nmos in parallel to perform and operation we are connecting d in series with this operation in the same way a or b or c will be connected in series using pmos and d is connected in parallel with this function so once the pmos is implemented it is connected to vdd and once the nmos is implemented it is connected to ground and these two are connected nmos and pmos are connected and it is given to the output function so this is the implementation of cmos logic for the given function this is about compound gates which is cmos implementation of given boolean function hope you have understood the topic thank you